Shocking news in the world of sim racing, sabotage, infiltration, suppliers stopping productions, payments not made, even customer data being transferred and the icing on the cake, I've been accused of causing extreme damage to the Fanatec brand and sales. What I'm going to reveal to you in this video is basically like a movie and it is a complete war and customers like you and me are caught in the middle. So I owe it to you to be truthful, but it's going to be shocking. So strap in for this one. We have Thomas Jackemeyer is basically saying we've been lied to and the management of Fanatec are not being straight with us and the sale to Corsair is not what it seems. And he has produced some shocking figures. He says he's going to lose over a hundred million dollars. So to set the chess pieces for you on one side, we have Thomas Jackemeyer. He is the founder of Fanatec. He was the majority shareholder. He was the CEO and he stands to lose a huge amount of money along with other shareholders of Fanatec. Why? Because the new management of Fanatec, they want to use a German bankruptcy law to essentially say Fanatec is bankrupt and sell it to Corsair without having to deal with the shareholders. This is why there has been so much manipulation in other platforms about this story. When I'm telling people that Fanatec might be in big trouble, the shareholders don't want that news to be shared. That's why you don't see these videos in the Fanatec Facebook group or the Fanatec Reddit, because any news about Fanatec being close to bankruptcy is something that gives credibility to bankruptcy laws being imposed. On the other side, you have the current management of Fanatec. They want to give it over to Corsair. They don't want the news about how that use of the bankruptcy laws might not be appropriate, how Fanatec might be in bigger trouble going to Corsair than staying with Thomas Jackemeyer. They don't want videos like this to be shared. And I'm in the middle because I'm just reporting on absolutely everything, just completely down the middle. I am telling you how it is. And now I'm caught in the crossfire and it's no surprise because there are so many vested interests. Now, Thomas Jackemeyer has come out with Goodness me, we're going to go through everything in this video because he says as a direct result of the management sale of Fanatec to Corsair, suppliers have stopped production to Fanatec for two weeks now because they have not been paid by Fanatec. He says the suppliers have no confidence in Corsair and they actually want to work with Thomas Jackemeyer. He says Corsair have infiltrated Fanatec, infiltrated Fanatec, and it's not just one person. Because if you've been following this story on my channel now for goodness me, months and months and months, you'll know that he has not been a fan of the CFO and the CRO, but now he's dragged other people into the mix. Yes, people you might know, people that have been selling and telling us about Fanatec products. So who has been infiltrated at Fanatec? The management and elsewhere. Ooh, this is goodness me. Thomas Jackemeyer, you have to be careful here because he's swinging now for the fences. He says that Fanatec's profits, liquidity and equity was artificially pushed down. So he's saying Fanatec was not in as bad a situation as the accounts presented themselves. He says that there were previous attempts to take over Fanatec. And it seems to be the inference that these people are the same people buying Fanatec now for a much cheaper price because of everything that's happened in between, which is crazy. But it gets even more personal. Do you remember the delays and deliveries? He blames it on Daniel Mayberg. Do you remember Black Friday? He blames it on Belma Nadarevich. And do you remember the interview I did with Thomas Jackemeyer where I just, you can watch the interview, completely honestly asked him the questions that my subscribers wanted answering. Where are my orders? What are you going to do about it? Is it getting better? Tell us the honest situation. And he says that was Belman and Aravik's idea. That's why it was an exclusive interview with me. And that caused extreme damage to the brand and sales. So this is, at the time, Thomas Jackemeyer was the CEO. He's the person I interviewed. He's the person that is in that interview. You can just watch the video yourself and I recommend you do. But it's not his fault. He says that the biggest mistake of his life was trusting people. And this is very, 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 very interesting. Particularly as someone now that I have this YouTube channel, 
you know, the thumbnail for this channel might have been made by someone else. The editing might have been done by someone else. But ultimately, I have to take responsibility for that because this is my YouTube channel. But Thomas Jackemeyer doesn't quite seem to think that he was in control of those things at that time. He's also saying that Corsair have already had brand rights, I think he's saying IP rights, transferred to Fanatec. And this puts Fanatec in big trouble because Fanatec no longer have the brand rights as leverage. He's saying the negotiation has sort of been done already. He's saying he wants to have a AGM, a members meeting, where he's going to come with enough investors. That's a powerful sentence there because he's been trying to raise capital, some money or commitments to raise money. And he's going to say this is last chance war where he's going to say they don't need to do the bankruptcy. He has enough money. This is probably the biggest story in German corporate legal, whatever you want to call it, financial stuff. And he says, yes, it's worthy of a movie. He says we only know 10% of the story. Trust me, if you're watching this channel, if you're subscribed, you know way more than 10% because I'm in the middle of this and I'm telling you, reporting everything. If you're not subscribed, by the way, hit subscribe right now. You will not regret it. You can see here, IT, he's calling out Marco Schubert. He's saying he recently joined the company and then he replaced the entire IT department. And you can see here, this is so important. Thomas Jackamar again, talking about the misposting that influenced the poor 2023 results, the financial results. Those are the financial results that I reported on. So he's saying the whole basis of Fanatec not being in a good financial position is a misposting. Now, I'm going to address this directly. Thomas Jackamire has said that I've caused big damage to Fanatec brand and sales. Thomas, you know where I am. If you want to speak one on one, I will fly to Germany like I did and flew to Fanatec and I will interview you and we can do it unedited, uncut. We can do it live. Let me know in the comments if you want to see Thomas Jack and I do that, I'm game for it. But you know that I'm just reporting on the facts that I'm seeing in front of me. Now, if you think that the financial report that I treat as a fact is not actually accurate, I think you need to come up with some evidence to show why it's not accurate. Because that is an actual investor statement to investors. By the way, I'm not even an investor. I'm not invested in Fanatec. I'm not making any money on the stock market in Fanatec. I didn't make any money from the interview. I didn't charge for it. I'm not po pushing other products in these videos. I'm just interested in the truth here. And this is a absolutely explosive statement here from Thomas Jackamai. He's posting on a financial forum. Thomas, you and me, we've got to sit down and talk about this because these are some crazy allegations. You know, Belman Adarevic has been the person that's been posting the transparency updates in the official Fanatec forum. And he's basically saying that everything is not as it seems. Now, the best thing you can do if you want to find out the truth here is share this video. Please, please, please share this one and let's see comments on the platforms. Let's see people talk about their experiences. Let's get to the bottom of this.